Hey everybody, Steve here from the Whirly Bugger Fly Company in Allensburg, Washington. It is June 29th, unbelievable. Don't know where the month went, but we are standing on the banks of the Yakima. This is my beautiful daughter, Lauren, bringing you your current Yakima River fly fishing report. So as you can see, The river is ramping up, coming up into its summer flows. So last week they started doing some major dumps of water into the Yakima. Just that time of year when local irrigators, you know, in three different counties start utilizing the water from the river to grow crops. So unlike a lot of other rivers, famous trout fishing rivers around the west that actually start dropping in flow this time of year. The Yakima is the absolute opposite. It, it goes up in flow. So that's, you know, why we constantly remind you that, you know, it's a very, very difficult river to wade most of the year. And then this also happens. We get this really thick vegetation it starts growing along the bank, so makes it difficult to fly fish. Um, if you're not in a boat, the river will remain like this. It's, it's still ramping up. Or, you know, we're probably not going to see the river run at the flows that it has been the last couple of summers. Like last year, it was running in the 6,000 range. This year, we just don't have that kind of water in the reservoirs. Um, so water rights users, depending on where you're at, are getting 100%, and then junior water rights, they're, they're getting about 70% of the use of water right now, so. There's definitely a conservation in mind for what tapping into the water right now. Uh, but you can expect like the next seven weeks that the river's going to look like this. It's, it's going to have a lot of water in it. So boating the river, you know, safely from a drift boat, a river ready raft, you know, a river ready pontoon boat is still, you know, going to be the optimal way to fish the river anywhere from the confluence of the Clay Elm, you know, to Rosa Dam. So we're still seeing... You know, lots, I look across the river, I can see sticks and some other debris. The, the river's got a little bit of color to it. I mean, it's definitely fishable, but it has a little bit of color. So it's still kind of, you know, coming up to summer flow, but remember anything over 1800 cubic feet, uh, very difficult to wade fish. And today this is, you know, in this part of the river, the farmlands this is this is up around 4,000 cubic feet now so one good thing about our heavy big heavy flows like this is is cold water and lots of dissolved oxygen content so you know even though our extreme summers can be you know in the high 90s even over the triple digits our water still remains optimal for trout fishing with high levels of oxygen because of the speed in which the river's running, as well as lots of groundwater, you know, that filters into it. So when other rivers are going into Hudal, the Yakima is, is terrific. You know, it's actually harder really on the fishermen than it is on the fish because it's a lot of people have a hard time fishing it, you know, very, very high temperatures, you know, especially when it gets in the, in the triple digit zone. So keep that in mind, but. It's that time of year now, there's lots of bugs going on. Still big green drakes in the upper river and the farmlands. Golden stones are still around. Yellow sallies, PMDs, caddis, and 
with all this big thick grass we got all our terrestrial fishing will start up here so grasshoppers ants beetles all that fishing in, in the month of July will 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 start and commence and we'll be you know we'll be fishing all those kinds of patterns so if you're a tire get to work start tying up your favorite grasshoppers popper dropper really good it's been good the last several days now that the river is is starting to to settle and not coming up at such a such a fast rate fishing is here if you have any questions feel free to contact the pro shop you want to get out with us right now we're running at about two weeks two and a half weeks so keep that in mind especially as we progress into the summer and fall some of our dates are already been being taken up especially for fall fishing so if you want to fish get your get your date on the books with us soon call the pro shop One of my favorite people. Have a good day.